YouTubers and RV fans, so today on Paddy Wagon Travels, we're going to be installing the Hangs Vortex 2 um, fan. So let me show you what this looks like. All right, here is the fan. Still in the box. I just got it from Amazon today. And let me see if I can show you some pictures here. Okay, this is the Vortex 2, the Hangs Vortex 2 fan. So we're gonna put this up today. They say it's pretty easy installation. All you need is a Phillips screwdriver. And so let's do an unboxing and see what it looks like inside. All right, like I said, this came from Amazon today and it is the Vortex 2 and it looks pretty good. Let's see if I can get it out of the box without making a huge mess here. And I'll kind of give you a look at what's inside. First of all, what you've got is you actually have the fan body itself. And it's really a pretty simple install. It looks like you've got your bracket for the, the rooftop um, hinge that opens up the, uh, I want to say the vent cover. It looks like you've got... Uh, and the fan itself. Now let's see if it comes, I guess all the screws are here that you need for it. This is the fan I'll be replacing, so I'll use all the existing screws for the flange fittings. But I think the fan itself is pretty, looks pretty good. What I like about the fan is that you have this screen that actually comes off. So let's take the screen off. Boom. And that comes off, which makes it a lot easier to clean. Um, in order to clean this screen, you got to take everything down. You got to take the cover down, and you got to take this off. And there's just so many things that have to come down just to get that screen out. So this is really nice that the screen just comes out. I like that a lot. All right, we'll put that back in. I'll just. Just turn it, boom, back in. And as you can see here, it has the reverse and forward. For the forward, it has high, medium, and low. And for the reverse, it has medium, low, and then of course you have off. And so this is the adjustable mount that fits into your, that fits into your knob for uh, opening up the rooftop vent cover and that just needs to be slightly adjusted to fit your vent cover so and um, yeah and then there you got your wires so I think everything's good right now um, the fan area is now prepped and ready for the vortex 2 okay so right now I'm gonna put the fan up into the into the location and I'm, I'm checking for fit on this here because this is where the knobs gonna go so it opens up the um, exterior um, cover to the vent fan so I'm just checking to see how close we are and if we need to move it a little bit but it looks like it's pretty well centered so let me just see here oh, and that is going to work perfect beautiful okay so we're going to leave that open Fortunately, it's not raining. And we're now ready to do the wiring for the fan. 
And so we're gonna go ahead and test the wiring here. We've got a yellow and black. And we're gonna test to see which one's the hot. And then here on the fan, we've got the white and the black as well. All right guys, so I have the 12 volt tester in my hand and I'm gonna go ahead and go to ground. And I wanna to test to see which of these wires is hot. And as you can see, it looks like the yellow's hot and the black is ground. All right, so we're pretty much ready to hook up. Okay guys, we're at that point where we wanna go ahead and kill the battery. Um, power so that to the 12 volt system remember that you have shore power which uh, is managed through your breakers and you have your 12 volt system which is managed through your fuse so let me just show you here that here's my fuses and the fuse that works for me is the living lights 20a which is the fourth fuse 15 amp that's down and so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that as I begin to wire the new fan. All right guys, so I spared you from all the craziness. We did, um, I did pull out the 15 amp fuse and then we wired um, the fan um, based on the testing that we did of what the live wires were. And in our case, the yellow went to white and the black went to black. And then we went ahead and put the screen itself up. We secured it making sure that the connector for the rooftop hood was able to um, open the hood. So as you can see here, this works nicely. We're able to close the outside hood to the fan and also open it up pretty easily. And so we've already tested it, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and show it to you a little bit. We put the screws at the sides that came from the original fan and that actually mounted the um, fan very well so this is going to be what it looks like when it's running and that's pulling in some really nice air really nice air now the interesting thing is that's a lot louder than what i originally thought it was going to be we go to medium and then we go to low now low is reasonable it's not as loud um, you know, when I was watching some YouTube videos, they did say that on high it was pretty loud. So we're going to go ahead and shut it off and then we're going to do reverse. So I like the convenience of it. It looks good up here. Um, it does take away from a lot of the light. Uh, that's unexpected. But let's go ahead and do a high reverse because a lot of times when I'm cooking bacon, you know, that low carb thing, um, I smoke up the RV. So, oh yeah. Now that's pulling a lot of air out of the RV. You can feel the suction going up, and that's very nice. And you can hear it. All right. So overall, I think that's a successful install. So let's put the flange on, and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. Okay, YouTubers and RV fans, we've successfully installed the Vertex 2 by Hang. Um, great fan, a little loud. I'm gonna tell you it's a little loud. The install actually was pretty simple. I hope you enjoyed the video of the installation of the Hang Vortex 2 um, fan. You know, originally when I decided I was gonna replace the fan, I thought I would put in a Max Air or um, one of those other, um, you know, fantastic fans. But then I realized, you know, I really don't wanna go up on the roof and change out all the fixtures and everything. So the Vortex 2, the Hang Vortex 2 fan really is a great alternative. And, you know, um, I'm gonna go ahead and link it in the description on Amazon so you can see it. And in all full disclosure, I am an Amazon affiliate. So if you click on that uh, and you purchase that, I will get some credit. So I appreciate it if you do that. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up uh, if you liked it. And definitely, if you're not a subscriber, please definitely subscribe to the channel for future RV mods. All right, guys, thanks so much and have a great day.